Today we're going to go over the voter example. And this is one of the first things you might want to try after downloading and unpacking a VoltDB kit. The voter example is a complete VoltDB application. Uh, it's a little bit simplified just so you can get started. It is an American Idol style game show voting app uh, so that you essentially text message into the app. It counts votes for contestants based on the phone number. What it does differently than a lot of naive systems is that it adds validation and policy enforcement. So it will check that the contestant you're voting for is a valid contestant. It will check that the uh, number of times you voted has been met with some particular limit. Uh, and it relies on strong acid in VoltDB to be simple and correct. So let's get started. Uh, I have here in this window VoltDB Enterprise 5.3. It's been unpacked and you can see the main components. There's the bin directory where I have my VoltDB starting scripts. And I'm going to focus on the examples directory here. I'm going to switch into the examples directory, the voter directory. And you can kind of get a sense of what, what's in this directory. I've got uh, a DDL SQL file. And this has my create table. I've got a contestants table, a votes table. Uh, I've got a deployment file. And this is how I'm going to deploy Volt. In this case, it's going to be one node. Uh, I've got the code for stored procedures. This is the vote code. We're going to go look at that in a second. I've got a readme. And this readme goes over sort of what it does, how to interpret performance results, how to get started. Uh, totally worth looking into. There's a bash script called run.sh that does some handy things for you if you'd like to take a look at that. It's essentially if you type run.sh server, it runs these things. Uh, there's some pre-compiled jar files and then there's a web console that you can run while it's running. So let's get started here. Uh, I'm in the Volt Enterprise directory and I'm going to start VoltDB. So since I haven't added the bin folder to my path, what I have to do is type bin VoltDB. If I did add the bin folder to my path, I would just be able to type VoltDB. And I'm going to type create to create a new VoltDB instance that's empty with no schema, no data. It's setting up uh, disk persistence at the moment. And it will say server completed initialization when it is ready to go. Oh, there it is. So now what I'm going to do is change into the voter directory. This other tab is also in the same VoltDB Enterprise directory. I'm going to switch into CD examples, voter. And I can see I've got all my files here. Uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to load the schema in from the DDL. And I do that using our SQL command tool. So again, since I haven't added the path, I've just unpacked the folder. I have to type dot dot slash dot dot slash bin SQL command. And this is so that you can download Volt DB without installing it. You can run it. You don't have to do anything to your system besides make sure that Java is installed to run it. Uh, but if you do want to add it to your path, then it makes it a little simpler. And I'm going to pipe in the DDL script. Whoops. All right. All right. Batch command succeeded. It fed all of that data in. Uh, now the next thing I can do is actually start my VoltDB client and start feeding it data. So I'm going to use the run.sh script and I'm going to call the client target. And it's just going to show all the settings it had. Uh, it's going to say connecting to VoltDB, connected, populating the static tables, warming up. It's sort of built like a benchmark, so it warms up for a few seconds before it starts. And there it is running 261,000 transactions a second. So what kind of transactions is it running? I can take a look at the vote stored procedure code that it's actually running 200,000 times a second. Um, and I can look at the beginning. I've got all this SQL here. Um, and, and I actually can call that SQL in my run method. The run method is the entry point for stored procedures. Up here, I'm queuing up the validation st statements. So check contestant statement, check voter statement, check state statement. Basically, make sure that all these things are valid. Uh, make sure it's a valid phone number. Make sure I'm voting for the right person, etc. Um, and I can actually check that i am voted a certain number of times. So I've got this check here. Check that it's uh, if it's greater than or equal to max votes for phone number, return. And then finally down here, if everything is met, I insert into the vote table. And that's it. So if I want to, I can take a look at the dashboard while it's still running. And it's going to show me, this is all populated using our HTTP JSON API. It's going to show me performance 
over here. It's going to show me votes by state over here. And it's going to show me contestants live view. So Edwina Burnham is winning. And she's winning. Uh, and all this is populated by volt live materialized views. The state table is a live materialized view by state, where it's aggregating on the fly by state. And this is aggregating on the fly by contestant. You can see all of that in the DDL. So this is going to wrap up in about 15 seconds. OK, we're back. It's just finished. I ran 27 million votes. Uh, 271,000 were rejected for invest valid contestant. 358 were rejected because they went over the maximum vote count. Edwina Burnham won. Uh, and on this laptop here, uh, with a synchronous disk durability, I was doing 225,000 transactions per second. All right, thank you very much.